Hey everybody and welcome back to Zeldude's Play, The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. In this one we're going to be taking on the Laneru Mining Facility. Yep. I'm ready. Dungeon 3, let's go. Oh. Uh, it's, I mean, I, I've realized that I've said this at the start of every dungeon, but this is mm. actually a good one. This is a really good dungeon. Yeah. Um, um, aesthetically though, I'm not a fan because, you know, we're not witnessing it in the past, but... It has cool themes to it. I would say, okay, but yeah. easily the worst dungeon item. We already spoke about that last time. Can I grab this quickly? Okay, there you go. thought I was going to crush it. Wait, no. Wait, what? Oh, uh, that did. it didn't land properly in, I don't think. Huh. Um, I mean, I don't think I need to do these, but, you know, you get some. You get nothing here. Right. Right, so, yeah, so um, those guys, the little scorpions. Uh-huh. Um, so they're the larval form of the dungeon's boss, which is quite cool. Oh, um, yeah. Okay. That is so pretty I, cool. I, I think it's one of Fi's descriptions or something, but the, the okay, boss I of this dungeon, which we'll obviously see quite soon, is the thousand-year arachnid. Uh -huh. So I think the implication being that those little, these little scorpions, after a thousand years, would look like Moldorak. Yep. Oh, God. Oh, God. I didn't know they could do that. <laughs> yep. Uh, why is Fi not... So oh, there you go. Okay, yeah, so literally... Araka, larval, yeah, yeah, larval monster said to live for a thousand years, exactly. And wow. then the boss is the thousand year arachnid. Uh-huh, that is so cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I never really thought of that. Again, here you are being fi for me. <laughs> 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 literally telling me. That's a cool, that's yeah. such a cool, like, concept. And um, it's interesting. Like, yeah, the boss isn't anything special. It's just... It happens to be one of these little guys who just survived for so long. It's not like Queen Goma, the queen of them, uh, you know, of all the other little spiders. It's it's just one of them. Yeah, I, I kind of like that in some way when when the boss isn't something super special. Um, mm -hmm. Like uh, one of my favorite examples is in the Minish Cap, you know, the boss of the first dungeon is just oh, a yeah, regular just a choo -choo. Gr green choo-choo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And obviously you fight it when you're small, so it's this massive boss fight. Uh -huh. but, uh, and I think it, it, the, the boss of um, Temple of Droplets is a uh, an Octorok as well, which is uh -huh. great, but you fight them when you're oh, small, yeah. so it's a boss fight. Yep. The idea of the Minish Cap was... Oh, please don't hit me. Okay, good. The idea of the Minish Cap was yeah, super cool, turning into the size of the Minish, and like then small, ordinary things become way more threatening and, and scarier exactly um, like again yeah. it's the it's the two worlds thing that zelda loves to do mm -hmm. um but yeah it's one of the most creative examples of that having yeah, yeah like a, a, a tiny world that you can explore where, um, and surprisingly not fully I, I, developed by nintendo <laughs> had to no be, yeah uh, capcom yeah. that one no? yeah but yeah you can like go into shops and, and climb into the roof and speak to the minish up in the rafters and uh, I'm so excited to play Minish Cap after this. Oh, yeah, yeah. And uh, for those wondering, because people keep asking, uh, yeah, Zeltek will be playing all of Minish Cap. I'll be watching him. I'll be backseating. I'll be the Ezlo to You'll to be, his exactly, link. yeah. <laughs> nice. Oh, okay, yeah, good thing you don't you have to be precise about yeah. it. You could just cheese it. Um, yeah, I, I thought it was way less lean. No, yeah. no, no, no. Yeah. I, I think I, I remember doing this because this actually... So if you leave the temple... You could do this again. They'll respawn and they'll actually drop the red rupee again and again. And uh, it's a really good rupee farming area if you want 40 quick rupees each right. time. So luckily, yeah, you don't have to be precise or I would never have used this as a rupee farming spot because, you know, I, yeah, I have to like, you know, get random swipes in to make it work. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, do we go up here first? I know there's a lot of backtracking. Uh, we don't have a small key. Yeah, so we, we don't have a small key, so yeah. yeah. Um, oh, and we didn't, we didn't, I guess because we spent so much time in the last video that we didn't spend some time upgrading and preparing. But I get, you know what, we probably wouldn't have had the material, to be honest. Like, I, I doubt it. Yeah, um, I think we're all right anyway. I don't think we need yeah. to upgrade. Um, uh, like, because the wooden shield didn't, actually, that wasn't necessary. I, I thought maybe for the Technoblins, the iron shield would have been a problem, but... Uh huh. Okay, yeah, we can't go up here. Yep. Um, yeah. No, it seems like I was completely wrong about how metal works, and it doesn't conduct electricity <laughs> in this game. Me yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know why I have that vibe. I guess we're just thinking of specifically Breath of the Wild. Maybe it like, because I mean, yeah, that's abused in Breath of the Wild. You can't go through a oh, storm the... without the threat of dying. 
from they really uh, ran with the Strike. element system mm -hmm. in Breath of the Wild. Yeah, elements are such a massive part of that. Yep. I don't think or I need to do like... it with the beetle. But... No, it's fine. It's kind well. of a thing, yeah, in earlier games like Skyward Sword, but not not nearly as much as Breath of the Wild. Where... Yeah, like you'll Whoa, lose that, your shield. That... Oh, okay, <laughs> bye. <laughs> yeah, he just he just let himself, you know, jump See out. You, okay, you don't want me, man? I'm just gonna commit suicide. <laughs> yeah, gave you a hug, got rejected, and uh, <laughs> call of the void. Yeah. All right, this is probably the. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, but there's oh, okay. immediate so, backtracking yeah. with how this temple works. I don't even think I can go. Can I go up here? Oh yeah, no, no. I can't. Yep. Okay. Yeah. I, I like this design though. It is. Oh god, really? <laughs> Come on, but that's not even like. That's just uncool because I guess they want you to come down. Or there we go. Am I am I playing the game right? Playing the game there the way it's intended to be. <laughs> like a sensible boy. Yeah. <laughs> Don't jump down your ladders, or you'll jump into the abyss and die. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but okay. yeah, I, I like this. Uh, I, I like the. I like both past and present versions of this dungeon. I think it's it's cool either way. Mm -hmm. At least the uh, the the past one, yeah, aesthetically looks better, but it is way harder to deal with because a lot of like treadmill. Oh, speaking of which, oh, these, this is the conveyor room. belts. Yeah, uh, um, yeah Bemos. Uh, oh Amos. yeah, and Bemos. They don't exist in this time. They only exist no. in uh, the past. Such yeah, weird enemies. So those ones, like <laughs> the puffer fish things. Yeah. yeah. What does yeah, Fi have to weird. say about them? Have you got any? Oh, it's a fro- What? Fro <gasps> Yo, wait. No. What are they called what? in Breath of the- Or Tears of the Kingdom? They're called- oh, Frocks. 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 <laughs> yeah, frocks. I was like, <laughs> wait, what if these- What if these evolve into them or something? Or like there's some kind of connection, but <laughs> nah, there isn't. It's just some frog-inspired creature. This is more of a fish, but I guess the F- in the name, just oh, makes yeah. you think of a frog. True. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But um. Yeah. The the way there's so many. Oh no, not that way. I um, keep doing it. Wrong. Yeah. So many defensive ancient robots here is another kind of connection with the the Sheikah. Because mm -hmm. um, so obviously the the ancient Sheikah didn't really have mining robots like the ancient robots, but they definitely had a lot of. Uh, robots designed to kill intruders. That was a big thing with the the ancient Chica. Uh huh. So um, I think it's definitely like. Uh, can you get in that yet? No, I think. Do I need a bomb or? Oh, there you go. Yeah. Oh yeah. See, yeah, cause yeah. again, because we're both not too caught up on this, or like you know, we we need to freshen up, right? And uh, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm just kind of going along and hoping I'll figure it out as I go along, which I should. I mean, it's not too difficult to begin with, even if this was my first time, but no. How but did that yeah, clearly. Up? Yeah, I'm not remembering it correctly. Oh, maybe blow up this. I think Is that just blow a it up. wooden crate? Yeah, That's it's not a wooden one. metal one. ones, right? Oh, okay. But you wouldn't yeah, think, fine. that wouldn't be the first thing that would come to mind, like, oh, let's blow it. Because I don't even remember doing this, but it must be what you're supposed to do. Blow this up. Yeah, then we step on the switch, then we could probably hit it. So that, uh, yeah. yeah, the switch will that just the gate. seems yeah. unlikely, though. That that is what because usually when you have a block like that, like oh, I have to find a different way up and then push yeah. it off, right? Well, yeah. I see. I assume they'll have wanted us to do exactly what we've done now. Just oh yeah, they would have placed that there. Like, oh, that didn't work. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Yeah, no, oh, yeah, it's still like the very. Yeah, of course. There's very, like it's all one way to solve things. Everyone who plays Zelda games like this. They're all gonna solve it the exact same way, so it's not like Tears of the Kingdom and Breath of the Wild, where there could have been multiple ways of solving it. Which do you actually prefer? Do you like this one and true method of doing it, or do you um, prefer yeah, having so um, many ways? So like, I, I remember we talked about this on, on one of the podcasts that like I do love the freedom that mm -hmm. Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom give you, like in the shrines, the way um, especially Tears of the Kingdom kind of turned it up to you know, 11, that you can solve puzzles in literally any way you want. Um, yep. Which is really cool, and it makes you feel like a genius when you're playing it, because you, you kind of come up with all these creative ideas to, to break the puzzles or, or whatever. But then, uh -huh. I don't know, I think especially Tears of the Kingdom kind of gives you too much freedom and lets you uh -huh. break it I too see, yeah, easily. so there needs you know, to be a Because you kind of end up skipping puzzles, uh, mm -hmm. which... Um, 
you know, like things like you can lift a platform and recall it and whatever, which, you know, is a bit cheesy. And I, I, I understand that if you don't want to do that, you sh just shouldn't do that technique. Mm -hmm. But that's kind of just one of a million ways you can break shrines in Tears of the Kingdom. I think overall the Oops. amount of freedom makes it too easy in a way. Yeah, no, Whereas I agree. Like, the, uh, there does need to be a balance 100%. Yeah, so I think, I, I don't know, they're still very new to the open air stuff. You know, we've had Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. Um, and we go, they'll be sticking with open air forever now. Um, mm -hmm. So, you know, I, I'm sure things will be adjusted. I'm sure maybe we'll, we'll, we'll have a bit more restrictions placed on us perhaps in the next game. Um, yeah, but not too much to where, yeah, it is but not too one much method that it gets, of solving. Yeah. Exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, what about you? Where, where do you stand on it? No, I agree. I agree 100% mm. with what you said. Like, it, it, it is, yeah. I do like the more freedom, but it, it comes to the point where it becomes too much freedom, like you said, because, like, yeah, it, it break, can break the game, and I don't want to break the game. Um, but, like, yeah, if Nintendo can find that sweet spot, I think it would be perfect. Yeah, because um, you don't want to feel like you're breaking the game, but also, okay. Okay. if, um, it, it's the same way I feel about the hover bike, right? I don't like using the hover bike in Tears of the Kingdom because it does just completely trivialize exploration and it makes you building complicated zone eye vehicles just completely irrelevant right if you can just build a mm -hmm. hover bike that's better than everything um so it kind of feels like oh maybe i shouldn't build the hover bike but also what you're doing is you're just using the game mechanics in the most efficient way it's not like yeah. you're cheating or you're cheesing it or whatever you are just playing the game properly uh, mm -hmm. and you shouldn't kind of have to intentionally restrict yourself to get you know, more difficulty out of the game's puzzles. I think they should be designed around the fact that you can build stupid, Whoa. powerful things and, um, uh, uh, and you know, combine Ultra Hand and Recall to move platforms. That's something that they must have worked out you could do during development, you know? Mm -hmm. and yeah. I kind of wish there was harder puzzles that took into account how insanely broken Link can be in Tears of the Kingdom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you're right, yeah, because... Um you can completely just destroy, like destroy things and make things super easy, but like there is nothing to counteract that level of like, you know, yeah. Because there's um, yeah. I, like one thing that I really liked about Mario Odyssey, right, is Oops. there's uh, there's some places where, say, there's a really really high, uh, I don't know, a, a building that seems almost impossible to climb. But mm. if you time your jumps perfectly and, you know, bounce off your hat and, and space it all exactly right, maybe you just about manage to climb. And it kind of feels like you're going out of bounds and it's an area that you shouldn't be able to reach. And then you get up there and then there's like a stack of coins up there. So you know the developers were like a step ahead of you. And they were like, our players will be able to make this jump. Someone's going to find a way to do it. Let's put some coins up there to reward them for it. Uh, mm. And I kind of wish there was a bit more of that stuff in Tears of the Kingdom, where like they let you go so free and make such powerful creations and break the game in such fun ways. Uh, mm -hmm. And I kind of wish that there was, you know, a little bit there on, you know, when you reach that goal or kind of. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't really know how to how to word what I'm trying to say, but you know, I, it, no, it I get it. Yeah, like, like going... they're rewarding the player for going that extra mile for figuring yeah. out things they, you know, they don't expect the casual player to to figure out. It's like, oh, okay, but th there is really good players. We'll reward those players as well. Exactly. Because be when necessary. you do things yeah. like um, when you do things like use recall and ultra hand together to create platforms, it kind of feels like you're. Um, Oh yeah, there's no mini boss in this dungeon. That's, that's weird. Oh, true. Yeah, you're right. You get um, it immediately. You just get the. But when you do things like that, it kind of feels like you're doing something that the the developers didn't intend, or you're like a step ahead of the developers, which should never be the case. You should always yep. kind of feel like the path's already planned for you, no matter what you do. Mm -hmm. uh, you're gonna get like a a curated experience, and everything was planned. Um, yeah, I, I I don't know. I think it's kind of a symptom of just how absurdly broken Link can get in Tears of the Kingdom. I think maybe <laughs> yeah. even they didn't realize just how powerful his abilities were going to be. Yep. Oh, I should jump down for this. Is it important? Ah, we, I gotta get uh, it. I gotta see. I don't see. remember what's in it. Yeah, see what's in it. Uh, hopefully worth it. Watch it not be worth it. But it won't take too long to get back to. Oh, well, yeah. Eh, yeah maybe Not could really, because if you find birds, you can kind of farm them. But whatever, yeah. Every little bit counts, as long as it is treasure. I think the only thing that would upset me is, like, more rupees. Because, um, 
Yeah, we can get plenty of them. Right? Maybe a little too many. Oh, okay. Great. Yeah. Um, oh, I love the little ancient robots on the on the, the walls here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, and speaking <laughs> of which, oh, there we go. Good. Well, good thing you mentioned that. Here's an example of it not being upscaled. Look at how pixelated that is. Yeah. See? Yeah, you're they right. They didn't bother with the texture. Some textures, they just either barely upscaled or just didn't bother with at all because they, I guess, thought people would just kind of breeze past them and not really think much of it. Um, yeah, because this game, this wasn't Tantalus, right? That was just Twilight Princess. I yes. Think. I don't, I don't think know. I'll be honest. I don't. Well. It came out of nowhere, and yeah, I don't think. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's just that um, Nintendo should announce like, oh, no, no Tears of the Kingdom yet, but here, we, we got this cooking up for you. So I'm not a, another sure. game with Sky Islands. Yeah. Yeah. And um, it made sense. You know, it was a good game to hold us over, but also. Yeah, I, they definitely want to give us the origin of Zelda before they give us a new origin of Zelda. Actually, it made no sense. People, everyone yeah, thought, that, oh, that was we're getting because this. Yeah, because we're going to... Exactly. It's going to connect. It's going to make sense. No, it didn't. Yeah, because, you know, the, uh, Skyward Sword HD came out in 2011. Uh, there was a lot of mm -hmm. talk that it would be the first part of this this trilogy. You know, you get Skyward Sword, Breath of the Wild, so Tears silly, of the Kingdom. The um, yeah, like, it's this very is what's silly. blocking you. Yeah, like, oh, I... <laughs> <laughs> pile of yeah. sand yeah yeah uh but yeah then tears of the kingdom kind of did its its own thing with its law uh mm -hmm. and didn't really use any of what skyward sword sets At up all. you know with yeah yeah, yeah. uh which yeah it was a, a strange decision but oh okay. it yeah. is what it is oh there okay. that's just yeah now we yeah. backtrack but now back we've got here Mm -hmm. Exactly. Now we got the gust bellows, so. Uh huh. So things are gonna change up a lot. Um, but yeah, like like I said earlier, overall, I'd say this is probably one of. He the... learned. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I definitely. <laughs> hey, you, that's the whole point of backtracking. When you backtrack, you realize, you know, all that you overcome and what has changed. Right. I'm I'm a good example yeah. of it. <laughs> <laughs> um, wait. Now I'm an idiot because I don't. Know, what do I do? Do I go back? I think I, I guess I go back. Yeah, yeah. Go back Maybe. on the left when we go through here. Yeah, true. We haven't explored loads of that sand area. that we haven't done. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Is it was it loads wait, of sand? Is that what was blocking it? Direct no uh, on drop down. Oh yeah, here. Left. I don't know. If, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, true. Okay. Yeah, these guys are annoying. There's always um, well not always. In a few Zelda games, there's the same kind of enemy, like a little guy that clings onto you, like a. You know, in the Wind Waker, they're in um, Forbidden Oh, the Woods. little spike balls. The little... Yeah. G they're so annoying. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah 100%. Um, these are at least cuter, right? You know, so there's that yeah. going for them. Um, yeah. And then, when Majora's Mask, there were also little balls, but they don't want to latch on to Link, I guess. Um, yeah. Um, Minish Cap kind of had those little guys. Uh, uh -huh. I think that's about it. Yeah. yeah. Annoying, anyway. Like all of them. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Um, oh, nice. He give you blobs, too. But, like, yeah, like I was saying earlier, and actually, speaking of Minish Cap, what do you prefer? Yeah. The Gust Jar? Is That's what it's called, right? The Gust Jar or the, the, this yeah, one? Or the Gust Bellows, yeah. Yeah. Um, the Jar I mean, felt both... more Zelda-esque, right? This feels like a reverse vacuum. I mean, I guess this vacuums is... can blow like that, but it just seems too... Like yeah, like, um, I mean the gust jar does both, right? It you know sucks yeah. and blows, <laughs> so mm. to speak. Um, <laughs> but oh, yeah. yeah, I don't know. I'd say gust jar, but right. yeah, I'm not yeah. I'm not a super big fan of either item. Of either, uh -huh. I don't know. Yeah, like Makes yeah, sense. like a, a vacuum just isn't a particularly exciting Zelda mm. item. You know, we, we've talked before that I prefer like high fantasy Zelda. You know, I'd rather get I don't know. So, <laughs> I don't know, some kind of fantasy item than a than Yeah, a Hoover, well, but. I guess a boomerang or uh, arrows, a, maybe slingshot. That still works, right? Uh, yeah, it's, exactly. It has that fantasy-esque vibe. Um, yeah, no, th these are cool, but yeah, it's because they're so gimmicky, they they don't last in terms of like what you can do with them. And then also, yeah, like this one in particular is just very silly. It's like the hero needed a vacuum to save the world. It, you know, yeah, he had and it's giant it. as well, you know. <laughs> like, yeah, <laughs> and you don't do anything cool with it. I mean, like blowing, like 
Really, like, it's the sand blocking something was that much of an issue. It prevented the dude uh, from yep. progressing forward. Like, at least in the Minish Cap, it, like, gave him a... It could stun enemies. It gave him that nice gust of wind that, like, can propel him in certain ways and, you know, guide yeah. him. It, it just had a cooler concept to it. You can, like, pull things from the other side of gaps with it as well like you know you, you kind of pull the mushrooms towards yourself to to fling over gaps which was cool mm -hmm. um yeah. you use it to save what's his name the guy who gives you the uh the light arrows like gu not gustav or something like no that's the king yeah. uh what's his name the guy in the palace uh, in the i, in I the, need uh, a freshen up on palace on that game so bad. Like, I'll be honest, I don't remember much, if at all. Uh, no, okay. no, if at all. It'll be, it'll it'll be fun when we replay yep. it then. That's what this, yeah, is, yeah. this is all about. Let's walk through I haven't through played Minish Cap game. since, like, my Let's Play, which literally was not a decade ago, but, like, we're, we're closer to a decade than five years, I'm pretty sure. Like, it, it's been a good while. Um, oh, wow, yeah. Oh, so I, I think it'd be fun revisiting it then, because, yeah, like, I'm, I, I've said it a few times now, I'm surprised how little I remember of Skyward Sword. Mm -hmm. um, and that's only and that we played years. two years ago, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this. This guy's actually so annoying, he's so time-consuming, so, like, you think <laughs> one of these would do the job, but no, twice. There and we go. The rupees, yeah. I can't even get them. <laughs> and you get like, nothing what? for it. Yeah. That's such a yeah. troll. And then here's another silly concept of the puzzle. Oh, you should, you know, have this propel and you yeah. did your job. Like, great, I'm having so much fun <laughs> here. Oh, God. Yeah. Okay, this is for a chest, at least. Oh, uh, yeah, dungeon of course. Th this, this game's armors have those weird kind of oh, magnet yeah. things on the head that you have to spin around as well, right? Mm, oh, <laughs> I actually prefer stall. this over... I don't say I prefer this over a, a, the dungeon map, to be real. Um... Because at oh, least yeah, it's something I could utilize. Have we, wait, have we still not got the dungeon map? No, no, oh, we, we did. do have it. Oh, okay. We yeah, have yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I forget. It's so, like, it's, you just kind of overlook it, right? So it's like, mm. yeah. Mm, because we, I don't remember picking it up, at least, but we must have probably very early on. Maybe that's, I think that's how most temples work. They just give it to you kind of immediately. I was wondering yeah. why the music kind of stopped. It's because of this guy. Because <laughs> of this guy. They're yeah. really fun, at least. Like, it would have been cool They're if a you cool had to parry version them. of Beemos. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. But, like, yeah, it utilizes the the motion controls, the sliding, stabbing, um, which is which is kind of fun. But aren't these... Hmm, no, they, they look a bit bigger. I was going to say, the little pinwheel that we need to pick up. Oh, it's not little, Elden, but, yeah. Right? I mean, it's not the exact same. Pretty similar, yeah. Right? Uh, more stealth. And here's the Armos you were talking about. Great. Yeah, okay. yeah. Let's take care of these guys. Hopefully they still drop. Thank God we have that bigger wallet. No. Hey, there we go. That's, the, that's the first one that you haven't killed in one. Yeah. Um, wait, you're happy about that? <laughs> uh, yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> you, you seemed excited instead of, uh... Like, oh, I, like, I am. It's why I've been counting the amount of times you've blown yourself <laughs> up. It, it gives me joy. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Okay, I don't even know if this was necessary. No, yeah, this, this takes us up. Yeah, right? yeah, okay. you need that. Yeah, we yeah. Won't, they wouldn't have us push all of this for nothing. <laughs> um, that would... That would be annoying. Uh, but okay, there, there we go. So this is, you would think this would be the item of the dungeon, right? Like right here, especially yeah. after you face this. But I guess because you're supposed to use it to go up against it, they want to give it to you early on, which uh, definitely makes sense. Um, yeah, not Zelda this feels like the mini boss room. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. At least, whoa, that's kind of cool. They don't actually there? hurt you if they... First, when they hit you, and then uh, I guess as they cling on to you, they probably do damage. What? I thought that was a uh, time shift crystal. Uh, What's well, it? That is um, one of these big piles of sand, surely. Oh, this. Oh, no, yeah, there's a crystal no. under that, right? Oh, there is. Yeah, there is. There is. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Yeah, it had to be because those, those, that's not a big pile of sand. If you were talking about, like, how, yeah, I don't know how it would hide there. <laughs> I thought, there I don't know, go. maybe like a pressure plate or something. 
Oh, yeah, no, no, but they're, yeah, but, okay, this is cool, though, at least it changes the entire room. I guess that's how it works with all the time shift crystals in the temple, specifically, uh, like, indoors. It literally, yeah, gives you the entire room in the past, and, yeah, right, it is amazing. just like a bubble, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the music gets so much better in the past as well, like, like this yep. bit. Mm -hmm. Picks up. So, wait a minute. Yeah. Yeah, just straight up Armos. Armos. That's the name. Yeah. See, I never, I never put two there and two together. There you go. Security and sense. defense mechanism. Mm hmm. Yeah. Um, because uh, I'll be honest. Every time I came across them, I, I do. I was like, yeah, they have the same kind of attack as the Armos. They just jump at you, know, because that's what Armos do. They just hop up to the to you, right? But I yeah. never actually thought about that. Like it wasn't until you said, it, I'm like, oh yeah, they they are literally Armos, and I guess literally the game just identifies them as Armos. That's interesting. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Did you think about them immediately, or was it because you like to check for what Fi has to say? Um, that you um, no, I think I, I think I've always it just thought they were almost. I think yeah, because yeah. Um, yeah, like you said, they, they hop at you, which is you know kind of their their thing, especially mm -hmm. in, in their um, statue, the enemies, Wind Waker. Yeah, yep. oh, they're very no, similar to the Wind Waker. One. Ocarina of Time. Uh, that was yeah, like, so, yeah. You had to hit them in the back. If anything, I think of Ocarina yeah. of Time when I first think of Armos. Interesting that you think of the Wind Waker, kind of. Makes sense Again, with like what games we got into first. Exactly, really. kind of because um, my, my childhood game, and also I think I don't know, they're just kind of funny in that game. You know, when you mm -hmm. hit them, they go like oh 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 oh, and like oh, jump yeah. around the room. You know? Oh yeah, they're kind of terrifying in how they explode. Yeah. They have the yeah. most animation and like just yep. yeah, that is so true. If anything, I forgot about that until you said that. That is so true. <laughs> Dude, I'm so excited to go back to the Wind Waker. Oh um, mate, that's yeah. gonna what be game? so fun. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like that game is a thank God we got all of these games in HD. Literally, all that's truly missing is Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. Because people are gonna say, "Oh, but the 3DS version," but those aren't HD. One thing, and you know, they're they're not on home consoles. Like even though we haven't gotten Wind Waker and Twilight Princess ported to the Switch, at least we can still play them on the Wii U, and at least you know they're. In HD, playable beautifully, you know, it, it works really well. Um, yeah, but I mean, yeah, when we can call Princess still or Majora's Mask. What are you Mask thinking game? for um, when we get to Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask? Do you think do N64 versions or 3DS uh, ones, but like up We could do 3DS. I guess I we could know. have. We could have. Oh wait, is there a path we have to follow? There is. Uh, yeah. Crap. Uh, we, we can think about it and maybe also kind of see what other people like, uh, you know, you guys Yeah, watching, leave a comment. Like, let, let us know yeah. what version of Ocarina of Time you'd prefer us to try. Um, you know, yeah. it'd be a, a few months away, I assume. So we've still got Minish Cap. Mm -hmm. uh, not sure what we're going to do on Four Swords, whether we'll cover that as soon as you get to it or... Yeah, or obviously we'll, we'll have need, to wait later. We'll need two more people for that. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see with that. Same with... Um, Okay, much later in the timeline, but Four Swords Adventures, Triforce Heroes as well. Like, we will mm -hmm. be doing every game. We will play all of them. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, this is weird. Oh. You get... Uh, I'm pretty sure say? the Hylian... I think it just Yeah, I knew, dude, I knew you were going to know what this... <laughs> 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 That's the thing. I forget where to go and like where items are, but some like random Hylian text I've probably translated oh. it in the past or like well, I mean I say I translated it. No, I went on the Zelda wiki and it's translated <laughs> for me. Yeah. <laughs> so what is it? Uh or I, I think it just says factory. Um oh, okay. But, yeah. I don't know. Still, I think, that's cool. Yeah, there's a kind of recurring theme with the uh the ancient robots of kind of taking team photos. Uh, uh -huh. You know, there's like a few in Skipper's the Retreat squad. with the sand ship. Uh, yeah, yeah, so I think maybe that's what's going on there. Oh, yeah, like, no, in Skipper's Retreat, they sort of recreate the Titanic photo. <laughs> they, they do, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. That's I great. like how he's like, stop. But, that's like essentially yeah. what he's letting you know. Don't go any further. Yeah. <laughs> I prefer seeing that to the uh, the rats from the Wind Waker. They used to give me oh, nightmares yeah. as a kid. You know, <laughs> you, you turn a corner in a tunnel like this and there's that rat and they... I can't remember yeah. what they do. They like grin at you and then ring the little bell and then you fall down. Or, oh yeah, literally, yeah. it's like a booby trap. I did not trap. like them. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> bad time. Crawling in general is like a Zelda staple in the 3D games, but yeah, it's it was completely uh, forgotten about after uh, by Breath of the Wild. But like every other Zelda game, right? Every even Twilight Princess yep. like, would crawl. Uh, actually, no, yeah, in Majora's, I know not going to have time he does, I'm trying to think, in Majora's Mask, did you ever need to? I guess you didn't. Uh, is there, do you have to crawl in one of the, 
the Sculptula houses. Um, Maybe. Actually, I, that's... Yeah, I think uh, so. Either uh, way, it's not like Ocarina of Time where you... Or do you have to crawl on the way to the um, the Astral Observe? But I no. can't remember if you have to crawl. Um, no, you don't. You don't. Um, no. It, but it's not like Ocarina of Time where, you know, immediately one of the first things you have to do in Kakiri Forest is, is get the sword and you have to crawl through that. Um, yep. And, uh, that and obviously there. there is the, the well, which is the freakiest place in that game. You know, yeah. Yeah. At least I mean, this is cute. Talk. This is not freaky. Yeah, this is quite nice. Yeah. But, um, uh, it, yeah, so, yeah, like Wind Waker was my childhood game. So I had kind of nightmares about the rats, which, you know, it. Mm -hmm. it it's quite tame, but Ocar <laughs> Ocarina of Time was your childhood game. Yeah. Did you ever have, like, I don't know, did Dead oh, Hand ever appear in your dreams or? No, 100%. Specifically, is this, I don't know if this is where I was supposed to go, but um, it was the, uh, no, it is. Okay. Uh, the Redeads and the, the Gibdos oh, were, enough. yeah, no, they gave me actual nightmares. <laughs> I think I've said this before, I literally, I hid the cartridge from my mom. So oh I yeah, you said you like you, you put it in the bin or something. Yeah, then, look, uh, I put it in a trash bag <laughs> in, the, in the closet. But she knew I did because think about it. One yeah. day it's in the cartridge. It's, it's, it's in the N64. <laughs> she, you know, gets up. You know, probably leaves the house or something. I grab it and hide it. And she comes back like, so where did it go, right? And I'm like, yeah. pretty young. So it's like it's not like I went outside, sold it, or did anything. You know. Yeah. There was a point where my brothers would do that with my games, which was so annoying. They would go sell it to, at GameStop or something and try to get like a few no, bucks. It's like, bro, it's yeah. my game. Get like $5 in store credit or something. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like one time my brother sold it for literally, like they had Mario lollipops. He literally sold his game for it. And then after he ate it, he just started crying. Cause it's like, yeah, bro, man, like that's, that's his temporary game. bliss, yeah. bro. <laughs> Nigga, it's like, that's it. You, you, their game was a lollipop. You chose that over a video yeah. game that would have lasted a lot longer. Yeah, <laughs> wow. Wait, what game was it that you sold? Um, I think like Mario versus Donkey Kong. It was, it was some, no, like, what, on the GBA? On the GBA, yeah, it was a GBA Man, game. Man, that, um, that was, that was my game. I, I got the, um, uh, what was it called? The, the Mario edition of the GBA. Um, on like one of my birthdays when I was a kid and it came uh -huh. with Mario versus Donkey Kong. Uh, I'm yep. so excited for the remake uh, next year because <laughs> I played that so much as a kid. Damn. Oh yeah, true. Uh, they are remaking it. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm excited yeah. for it too. It, like, I would, I would love to have more GBA games, but no, okay. I actually thought about it a bit more. I'm pretty sure that, like, I'm pretty sure my youngest brother actually sold his Game Boy Advance. For, for a lot, for a lot. <laughs> <For a lot. laughs> he sold the whole console, probably the game with it. But like, I remember, yeah, no, he couldn't play at all from what I remember. Like, like he was screwed. That's hilarious. Yeah, it was so funny. Um, imagine. <laughs> yeah. uh, it better have been a good lollipop for that. <laughs> it wasn't. It was one of those, like, it's Mario's face. It's like jelly. It's a, so you, like, you just yeah. chew it and you're done. That's someone even like, it's not like, you know, you lick it and it just slowly, you know, yeah. withers down. You know, it's like, okay, <laughs> I'm literally trying to rush this area. I just really, um, let's um, find the switch. I think there's a switch somewhere. Is it like here. a fan or a pressure plate or something? Yeah. Yeah, there you go. See, literally. Oh, there you go. Nice. Yeah, you're fine. Yeah, I was just trying to leave it because it's annoying, but, um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm, but we, we all did a lot of stupid <laughs> things. Hilarious. I sold my Game Boy for a Game Gear, uh, which what came out when I was born. So imagine like a Game Boy that came yeah. out a decade after, like I'm buying yeah. something that old and that crappy. Um, and I realized because it would take eight batteries. And back in the day, you, it's crazy because I feel like kids nowadays won't really have to deal with those issues of like running out of batteries, you know, no backlight right. on your console, all of that. Oh, like, the backlight has especially. An iPod, yeah. Right? Yep. You know, like, um, um, okay, I write this. It, it, like if you were playing you know, your Game Boy or whatever, when your parents were driving at night, mm -hmm. um, you, you'd You're have screwed. to like wait till there's a street light and then you get right. like a second of the screen and then it goes <laughs> yeah. dark again. Yeah. Yep. Right, yeah, like, Literally. yeah, that's something that's just lost now, you know, with the kids these days with their OLED screens, you know? Right, and, and iPads they and everything, they don't even have to, they can just emulate everything or play mobile games or like their library's endless. Before it's like, what game you had was that, that was it. And, and we yeah. sound like old people like talking about oh kids nowadays. <laughs> right, we're such boomers, you know, they, yeah, they don't, yeah. Yeah, right. But that's not. But like, but let's be real. Technology changed so quickly. 
to where it's yeah. true. Like even people our age, um, you know, great. Uh, even no. people our age <laughs> uh, had such a significant difference in you know our upbringing and childhood compared to people nowadays because of the whole like uh, the accessibility of like you know yeah. really good tech to everyone and it's like not as expensive. You can buy like a Chinese emulator console and freaking have um, okay. I, uh, and, and have uh, every single game in existence on the Game Boy downloaded, emulated, ready to go, just the ROMs, right? And like, yep. back then we couldn't do that. We, there, no Chinese console like that existed. Or like, you know, the, the flash drive still wasn't really a common thing. Uh, the easy flash thing. You know what I'm talking about? Like where you can just put all the games on like a actual cartridge and play on original yeah, hardware. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, like back mean. in the day, um, we, we literally had to own cartridges, sell them, resell right. them. You know, it was like you were limited to the game you had, but it made you appreciate it. Like when I only exactly. had Minish Cap, I only played it, you know, so I got to beat That's it all. That's what I was going to say. It made, yep. it made games more special back then because it was, yep. you, you know, it was rarer, like, games were rarer, because, yeah, you had to have the cartridge, and um, especially when you're a kid, and, you know, you have to, like, beg your parents to buy you a game, or whatever. It made you really appreciate the ones you had. Like, Mario vs. Donkey Kong, for example, it's a good game. I, I, have pl I played that recently, um, maybe, like, a year ago, and it's still a good game, right? But mm -hmm. I loved that so much as a kid, because it was one of the only games I had on the Game Boy Advance. Um, yeah. Uh, obviously, that's uh, that's probably why Minish Cap's my favorite 2D Zelda because I played that to death as well. Um, uh huh. Exactly. Whereas, like you know, nowadays it's like you, you just got so many options. It's so so much harder to kind of uh huh. Even uh, as an not adult, fall in love with a game, but like get you know become that obsessed with a game is difficult now just because you got there's you can play whatever you want whenever you want now. Yep. And right, even in like not just for kids. Like we're not just saying, oh, kids, you know. This short attention span. Even as an adult, myself, I struggle. I'll buy an RPG, I'll get like 10 hours into it, and once the game kind of slows down a bit, something else is out. Something else is there to play. Yep. And then I just, I literally just leave that game and it goes on a backlog. And it sucks even for, yeah, like even someone of my age, like I can't appreciate games anymore. So I can't imagine what it's like for kids who already have a short attention span and having all of that, uh, such an endless library at such a young age, I feel like, yeah. Yeah, it's just, it's not, not the best. Like, if if I were to have a kid, I'd probably give them, like, the a similar kind of concept to what I grew up with, where I give them like one game and they have to beat it, or like truly, if they do not like it, then I'll give them a different game and like filter it out, and you know, I'll just let them use my yeah. old Game Boys. And luckily, since I modded them, at least they have backlight. I think. The backlight was needed. We, we we shouldn't have struggled that much. That's that's definitely no. I think outdated. that that's kind of cruel and unusual punishment. Is yeah, exactly. Like the Game Boy without the backlight. Yeah, I think that's mm -hmm. that's fine. We'll give them that. Um. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like one game at a time would be best. You know, you don't want like for real. Like ADHD is common among everyone. Like everyone has some form of it almost because of right. the way like you know things are. And how do I get this to go back? I guess I just have to reset it. Yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah, exactly. it's like overstimulation, isn't it? Because, you know, nowadays there's just... There's just so much mm -hmm. everywhere, all around you, all the time. Uh, which yep. just wasn't the case. You know, we have gone on a proper old man rant now for, for like yeah. 10 minutes. <laughs> Back in my day. <laughs> but like, It fits, though. You know, you know, we're going from present to past. You know, might as well true. reminisce about the present. We're just time shifting to a, to a long gone era. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But yeah, no, there's obviously a lot of good and bad that comes to it with uh, with how much access we have. I wouldn't want it any differently. I love what we have. I'm not like, oh, yeah. I, I miss the old days. Like, no, thank God we have what we have today. But when you look back at it, it's like, oh, but you, we were able to look at things and appreciate things differently because of the difference. And that's really it. It's more so just comparing rather than saying, you know, 90s kids had it better than kids nowadays like nah I don't know about that yeah it's, it's just know, it's just own. different it's like different things that don't exist now like different kind of aspects of gaming aren't really a thing now like um Oops. nice I, didn't, I totally uh, didn't see that <laughs> <laughs> and what like, was fun um, here okay wow wow uh, like, you know, I talk about it a lot but um I played loads of RuneScape as a kid right and that game mm -hmm. Uh, it exists now as old school RuneScape. Um, it's like an updated version of, of like the retro game, right? Um, yep. But it was so special back then because 
there was no real social media. You know, there was, you know, like MySpace and um, mm -hmm. Facebook was just starting to come about when I was playing RuneScape, uh, like 2007-ish, yep. but, but not really. So RuneScape became social media. You know, you'd, you'd talk to your friends at school um, and it'd be like, oh yeah, I'll talk to you on RuneScape later. And you'd, you'd have to log on to RuneScape to, you know, chat with all oh, your friends. Oh yeah, you'd have yeah, to, that's the only to way go to go to Varrock and exactly. Mm -hmm. So it, that game was kind of a social media in itself, which is kind of why it was so massive back in the day. Which nowadays, like, yeah, the game still exists, but the social side of it is just kind of completely dead compared to how it used to be because, you know, everyone's on on Discord or Twitter or Facebook or whatever yep. instead of. Like the game, yes. and like, not not that that's a bad thing. I think having more it's options not. to communicate is a good yeah. thing, but it's just different. It gave like, it you know, something to... special. Yeah, no, no, I agree with you one hundred percent. It made it a lot more special, and those games were your yeah their way of social media and, and connecting with your friends, and so you had to utilize the game. That's probably why you look at it so fondly compared to like you know anything else because you have those nostalgic memories of yeah. it, right? Exactly. I'm sure people yeah. feel the same about like whatever MMO yeah. they played back in the day because MMOs yeah. were kind of social media back back mm -hmm. then. Even um, even non MMOs like uh, I've told you about this before, but like with Pokemon, I remember. Uh, so I'd uh, like you know when I would have friends in school, I'd be like, so let's hang out in a Wi-Fi battle on like Pokemon, you know, yeah, uh, yeah. you know, Platinum or something. And then we would just let it because you could have voice chat in it, so we, we wouldn't even fight each other. We would just talk through the thing and just like have our show our pokemon to each other and just mess around that way and that was a form of connecting so it was really cool to like have the video game be your way of connecting with others and not to have a different form of connection you know everyone has a phone nowadays and you know it, i mean I, I didn't get a phone until i was like 15 16 i had to get my own phone because my parents weren't going to buy me one did you have a phone oh, yeah. at a young age, or did you all kind of same thing? Yeah, I had a phone because um, I, I live in like you know proper rural England. Um, uh -huh. and I had to get the bus to the next village. Um, the buses yep. around here they're not great. Like you know sometimes they'll be an hour late. Sometimes they just won't turn up. It's just kind of like countryside buses. Uh -huh. um, so I started getting the bus to school when I was I, I don't know I think I was probably like ten or something like that, and it was in the next village. What? So. I had a phone then um, How do you give up? to like you know text my parents when I got to school or whatever, but it was uh -huh. a proper brick. It was a, uh, I think it was like my granddad's old. Phone oh, okay, so you could just play a snake it, on it. Like it wasn't yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. No, I didn't have a, I didn't have a smartphone till I was yeah, I don't know, fifteen maybe sixteen uh -huh. something like that. Yeah, yep. yeah, not for a while. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah. So it was literally my, just yeah. Your my friend got device. like a, a Galaxy Two. Uh, back uh -huh. then. Oh uh, damn! I, yeah, back uh, in the day, I, that floored me. I was like, "This is the best phone I've ever seen in my life." Uh huh. Um, and now it's on what, like Galaxy twenty S twenty three? Yeah, but they, like? they yeah. went from they went from like ten to twenty. They just jumped. Like it wasn't like oh, right. we got okay. eleven, yeah. twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Now they just kind of immediately just like, "Oh, it's the two thousands now or two thousand twenties." Hey, so. at least we got rupees from that one. Yeah, and I think it's a oh, full wallet. I think we're yep. max now. Anyway, hey, nice, yeah, nice. Um. Okay. Yeah, this whole, I'm not gonna lie, this whole section is so time consuming and not in the fun way because, you know, you're just kind of waiting things out and moving things around, but mm. oh well. Um, yeah, you just gotta. I, basically I like done this. now, though, with this room? No, we still have this E, the op that's what I'm saying, we're not done yet. We oh, have you have to come area. back that way, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, no, it's funny because there are people nowadays who are want to take a like social media detox, so they like use those phones, like you know those brick phones, like the Nokia phones, you know, from way yes. back when. Yeah. Um, and uh, it's actually kind of cool, like that concept of like, um, like yeah, n now those phones are kind of relevant today in the sense of like, oh, I don't want to, you know, have all this access to technology, and it is hard to be very committed to you know, just doing, to not getting distracted, like for anyone, because even if you don't play games outside of the endless library, it's just, you have access to all types of news, all types of information from every social media. And it's like, yeah, yeah it's just, um, it's very distracting. Like very, what yeah. the heck? Is that, oh, bombs. Okay. <laughs> Great. Yeah. It's always it's cause it's designed to be addictive, right? It's, you're, you're naturally built to, to want to, hear what other people are saying even if you don't particularly care about the people that are saying it you know you so you end up scrolling 
endlessly on like Twitter mm -hmm. or whatever. Um, and you know, yeah. I, I, I've always said, I, 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 you know, it would be good to have like a detox or whatever, but I don't know, can't do it. I'm in too deep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, and like, I'm too hooked, you know? Yeah. I mean, there's also, you know, just discipline. You know, you could, you don't have yeah. to like, you can't just blame yeah, just the tech. Just don't don't do waste it. your whole day on the phone. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> but now nah, I'd rather blame the phone. The reason why we're like this is because technology. S screw it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Not our fault. Yeah, it's not. It's society's um, fault. They, they made us this way. Well, aren't these the ones you have to do in the set order, right? Yep. I'm doing it in order. Are you sure? I thought it was um, the oh, same the as. I think it's the same as the Great Deku Tree, so uh, 23 is number one. Really? Yeah. No, you're tro bro, or am I you, wrong? You want No what? No, what? it's no, it's just one, two, three. Why would they make it that's too complicated. Oh, wait, no, look look on the other wall though. Like um Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, I did you're, it you're right. No, you're you're right, <laughs> one, two, three, yeah, one yeah, like that. Yeah. But if you look it, it, Oh, it's, if you uh, look at it from that left to way, right, right? Oh, if you look at it that okay. way, it's two, three, one. Yo, okay, that's cool. Yeah, which is yeah. the same as Ocarina of Time. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, no, we were going, we were going about it the complete opposite ways. To yeah, each other. we were misunderstanding each other. No, but that's actually cool. I'm glad you pointed that out, huh? I didn't think of that. It, it is. I wonder if Nintendo, because here's the thing, that is like the easiest. If it's a one-two-three puzzle, that's the best way to True. jumble them. You don't want to put three last, but you don't want to make yeah. it too obvious and have so you just like swap. You know, the, these two. Um, yeah, exactly. And there's only what, like, nine possible. There's only so many combinations, right. exactly. Yeah. So, <laughs> uh, um, but yeah, that could have hey, been. No, that could have been a key. reference. And I yeah, mean, it knowing Nintendo, fun. you know, they do. Uh, they do yeah. drop things like that, uh, and like that's such an obscure thing as well. Um, oh, I sweet. gave him a present. That's he was too excited. Another one for the compilation. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, and I. I don't. Even, I wasn't even thinking of what I was supposed to do. I gotta <laughs> just open it, and I don't even need to use the bombs. Go, 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 go. No, you're, th yeah. Um, what the, but there's the big, big Armos in the Wind Waker. You have to bomb their mouths. Yeah. Um, I don't know if, are they still Armos or have they got a different name? I can't remember. I no clue, because I didn't even think these guys were named Armos. So now <laughs> True, yeah. I'm not even sure anymore. <laughs> I, I feel like Fi has been blink. I actually like when Fi wants to talk to you and how it has the sword blink like that. Like, that looks so cool. Yeah, 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 <laughs> which is great. Um, what did she want to say? And you're <laughs> oh, <laughs> thank <laughs> you, the other Captain <laughs> Obvious. I, I didn't know yeah. my wallet was full. <laughs> yeah. And what's that gonna do? What's that? It's, I mean, I guess just letting you know, go spend your money. But like, I'm I'm in a, I'm too deep, so yeah. it doesn't matter. I mean, we could have used that warning like a couple episodes ago. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't go and do all the goddess cubes, basically. Yeah, I mean, we haven't. We barely found any still. Um, as of recently. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because they're not one. up on the map. But I think they've got to be on Skyloft, right? Because then I don't think they show up on the Sky map, or I don't know. We'll find them. I'm not sure either, yeah. But yeah, we will figure out them, because uh, I'm not going to get them all. I mean, I, I think we're going to just do this as casually as possible. People were wondering whether it was going to be 100% or not, but I, I, I like the idea of... <laughs> I think um, we've decided that, yeah, it, it's, it's looking like a more casual run, I think. Mm-hmm. One hundred percent. Is it down here? I'm trying to make sure I don't skip. It is down there, right? Yeah, we open up that. Uh, door, I think. Pull the map yeah. a sec. Oh. It must. Okay. Yeah, because we came from here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. That's fine. Yeah. All right, let's get running. <laughs> and this is another good example of the perfectly placed stamina fruits. Exactly. Uh, you know, yeah. <laughs> right <laughs> as you're gonna run out. I wish we had those in real life, bro. I'd run on the treadmill nonstop then, just eat one and keep <laughs> going. <laughs> I mean, try it. Just kind of like have a head of lettuce as you run. And yeah, I'd like helps. before you I choke know. and die or something, yeah. bro. Like, right. that it, is not so smart. Put it up on the channel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, this one's actually tricky because. Um, yeah, I gotta, oh, like, yeah, you can't go behind. ahead or behind. Yeah. Uh, it's like the penguin from Mario 64. Oh, yeah. You gotta be careful of the the gust of wind, the hot. Is it? I guess it's supposed to be like hot air blowing out. Either way, it yeah, knocks I like back. Yeah, I assume so. Yeah. 
Oh, you mm. mean um the, the the penguin on the snowman, right? In uh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I, yeah. I guess wait, we did everything, right? That was it. Because the door is so, here, and yeah. we have to, okay, nice. I don't know why I felt like there would be something else, but I guess there's an area just in case you wanted to save, you know, uncertain. Um, so okay, then we're good at least. At least we could just go straight in. So, uh, here, let's do it. Yeah, let's uh, see the big version of the little guys. I hate the way you have to tilt it, but there's no way it's just like this. No, okay, okay, it's not. It's no. um, it's like the fuck, crap. Oh my god, I want to do it this way. <laughs> But reverse it, so there we go. No, is it like that? No. I want the short end on this side, but for some reason, oh, it's because it's on. The, it's it's like this. There we go. Hey, there you go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> for a second, I was looking at it the wrong way, but no, no, no. We we got it. It's it's these are definitely I really easy because it's it's tedious to like use the sticks for it, but it's yeah, it's so infuriating to watch. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. trying to tilt it to the direction you want it to be. I mean, I wonder if motion would actually make that easier. I'm not entirely sure. Um, mm. Now, I feel like it'd be just as annoying, let's be real. You have to, like, tilt your whole hand and, like, put it in awkward positions yeah. just to, like, get it right. Um, but, okay. Oh, man, this is such a cool... Because, like, Girahim isn't here, right? It's just, like, it just happens to be here waiting for us, this enemy. Yeah. Oh, my God. I actually yeah. love this. This is such a, like a horror movie type shot, the way the camera panned like that. Yep. Man, and here it is, Moldorot. This is, I think this is the first boss we saw in this game, right? It was uh -huh. in one of the early trailers. Um, yep. Yeah, like you said, it is kind of boring because it is just a big scorpion with eyes uh -huh. and his claws. But you know, it's kind but of knowing, cool as well. Knowing its history, you know, now that you said that earlier, I do think. That okay. definitely makes it a lot cooler, that it's got yeah. that little kind of lore detail, that it's a, a grown version, an adult version of the little guys. I think that's cool. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, even, wait, did the little guys appear in the present as well? I think they do, right? It'd make more sense if they only appeared in the past. And yeah, there's right, this one in the, in the present. Yeah, that's a little uh -huh. confusing, but I think it's definitely the intention, considering this is the thousand-year arachnid. Yep. It's weird it how... Is. He literally has eyes. I mean, that's a Zelda thing. Eyes on everything. Um, yeah, it's like uh, Majora's Mask 3D. <laughs> like uh -huh, eyes I, everywhere. I wonder how that helps him. It just gives him weak points on his claws. Like, really, that's that's all they serve. Like, do you need the eyes? I mean, I may, does his current eyes work? Not really. Uh -huh. Does Five say anything if I... Uh, did she mention, like... What does it say? Oh, that survived. Oh, it yeah, even it's says very... it. I didn't know it yeah. outright said it. There you go. Yes, that's and really cool. That's really confirmed. Yeah. That is. Like yeah, because there's another one later on in the game, right? There's um. Yep. Where'd you fight the other one? Tell um, me more. Uh, in the uh, it's also in the, some sand area that you use minecarts. Um, oh, I think it's in um. Yeah, the pirates hideout, right? I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. She's still talking. <laughs> yeah. I, well, I told her tell me more, so I, I it's kind of yeah. my fault. But okay, wait, what? I, oh, you break free with the other. I'm like clicking left and right on the, um, the analog stick that's towards the left, not the right. If that makes any sense. Okay. Yeah. This okay, kind of no, reminds me of, um, the boss battle in the Wind Waker with sand. Just, I guess just because. Oh, uh, Mulgara. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, music's get, not yeah. quite as good here. Oh yeah, it's still it's still epic, but yeah, not nearly. Can, can we parry it? I wonder if you can like shield bash it. <laughs> like yeah. how he's like trying <laughs> to hide. You're just like, nope. <laughs> it's like when you don't want right. to get out of bed in the morning. Well, yep, let's see. Oh, oh no, there he okay. is. He's with his with his children. I want to see it ram into me and see what happens. Come, come here. Toro, toro. <laughs> oh, that's not working. Oh, there you go. I oh, know he's gonna he's gonna do it. No. no, now he doesn't want to. When you want him to do it, they never do it. Okay, we'll just kill it. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Wait. Oh, you could. Hey. No. Nice. But it didn't. It didn't really like cause it to do anything special. Like. No, but it. All it, it it's like um. Like in Breath of the Wild, where the Lionels run at you and you can. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah, that was that was quick. Uh, you yeah, I guess that's why it becomes stop a normal a Lionel enemy. Dead in its tracks, which is great. Mm-hmm. 
yeah, definitely. It, it, it's the easiest out of all of the other bosses we've taken on so far. And that's why it makes sense and why it returns as just a casual enemy um, and yeah. not like something super special. Plus, it didn't require any gimmicks, you know, and usually you need like the boss area to like do it, at least specifically with the last one, you know, Mike Wazowski, like that we needed that <laughs> entire room for it to make sense. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And, um, yeah, it's, it's an okay boss. It's just kind of forgettable because it is just a big scorpion, but, um, <laughs> yeah. oh wait, yeah, this, this it's the room, coolest. Right? Does, yeah. Does this, um, does this remind you of the tower of spirits at all? from spirit tracks you know it's like oh a, yeah. uh a what's the word what's the word like a, a terminal or something where a train can go multiple different directions mm -hmm. yeah yeah I, I could see that and just like the the vibe it gives off like how um you know mystical and mysterious it seems because this whole area is actually so beautiful um mm -hmm. no this any, next room yeah yeah yeah, yeah. This, this next room great. specifically this yeah. is one of the best places in the game yeah. Yeah, like look at that. Just this, all this is amazing. Yeah. Saluting, you know, just it's so cool. Yeah. Um, okay. We gotta use the beetle here. Though. Yeah. Attack you. I don't know why they put yeah. it so oh, yeah. far away. <laughs> <laughs> this is definitely where just, an upgraded beetle would have been nice, so we can uh, dash or you know, you know, like have it go faster yeah, than normal. Yeah. 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 Um, at least it lasts. But, yeah, but this room in in the past is amazing. Yep. Like completely right lights now. up. Uh huh. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, look like, at that. Like golden. And it leads you to the Temple of Time. So clearly, you you think these guys built the Temple of Time or something? They have some significance to it. Because yeah. the only way to get to the temple is through this path. Like as we saw, uh, what's his name, uh, Gako or whatever. Gorko, um, yeah. Yeah, he he literally wants to research it and check it out, but he can't because of the wall that's blocking. Um, yeah, so we have to go the underground route to the Temple of Time, which was presumably how the ancient robots delivered time shift stones that had been processed in the, the mining facility to the Temple of Time, which, I mean, we can only yeah. assume it was for, for the construction of the gates of time. So perhaps, I don't know, maybe do you think they're saluting Hylia if, maybe. I don't know, or because they serve the, the, the Thunder Dragon, um, but... Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it, they're definitely saluting someone. All right, you ready then? To yeah, let's go. Meet Zelda. I think one of the coolest cutscenes in the entire game, right? This it really is. Yeah, this is the one. Yeah, yeah. I I love the the, the design of the Gates of Time as well. The, the way they kind of kind of come out of like a tear in reality almost. Mm hmm. There yeah, you go, exactly. Ballad of the Goddess. Yep, and she's dressed up for the occasion now. Yeah. It's a great Zelda design, this one. The the kind mm -hmm. of goddess dress. Yep. <laughs> Finally, they reunite! But no, not for long. And also, Psych. well, I guess Girahim didn't need to go through the temple. <laughs> <laughs> he could just destroy yeah, it. Yeah, he just smashes his way through. Yeah. yeah. Oh, but this is great. This is so good. Nope. This is what, like, you know, the the Breath of the Wild Tears of the Kingdom needed. Like, big events that happen in the moment, you know, not a yep. hundred or ten thousand years before. Uh-huh. Damn, look at Impa just defends all the Link is just standing there. Uh, what do I do? <laughs> like, yeah. Do something, man. Okay, this is well, an guess... incredible, right? Um, the, just the yeah. cutscene in general is just, it, it's just so good. Um, yeah. And then still, they're battling. Gotta hold this. Yeah, I got this. You know, <laughs> <laughs> like, dude, there's no time. Gotta stop to and do spare. a little happy face. Yeah, yeah. Okay, he can't enter because Giram has a, a border. But still, you think he would be going crazy right here, like trying to help her out? Yeah. There we there go. go. <laughs> At last. Am I late? Should you say Am that? I late? Yeah, you gotta do that. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I mean, we were a bit late. Or no, just on time? Yeah, you're right on time. That's such a cool answer. There you go. She's warming to us. She's not yeah. <laughs> completely ripping into us this time. <laughs> this is the... Uh, oh, yeah. Look, this is like the Sheikah bomb from Breath of the Wild. Mm, or the Dekuna of this game. Or the of... Dekuna, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so she has to destroy it, right? So you can't follow her, which is, yeah, yes. such a yeah, cool yeah. concept. <laughs> 
Yeah, so that's why we have to activate the, the second gate at the um, the sealed temple, yeah. Yo, oh, damn. And you would think there'd be a battle here, but nah, he's just not gonna deal with Link, which is his this mistake. Is, uh, this is the bit where he, he threatens you, like, uh, it's in a sec, he says you're gonna... I can't remember what it is. Uh, here you go, look. Oh no, he- oh yeah, true, Look yeah, at yeah, that. Yeah. You'll deafen yourself with the sound of your own screams. Yup. Wow. Yup, that is so, <laughs> That's like, disturbing kind of metal, to yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel like he also says something similar the last time you- or the last time you fight him in a temple. Um, he- he kind of goes hard. the fire sanctuary. Yeah, yeah. I think so, yeah. He, yep. But yeah, he's he, not it was a huge nice mistake person, of him yeah. leaving Link. <laughs> oh yeah, but I mean- it fits. I, I love his personality, but oh, he's great. Um, he's so great. Yeah, but him leaving him around. I mean, that is the typical henchman type, you know, personality where they leave the guy because they're so cocky, and then comes out that hero eventually can overcome them, and especially because they they didn't kill him when they had the chance to, they get stronger and they find a way to like defeat them, which is like, yeah, while you're ahead, you should have just stopped him. You shouldn't have let him. You know, just continue on. That was your biggest mistake. Uh, leaving right, like, like keep giving him chances. It's like, it, I, I won't fight you. Um, this guy Scaldera will sort you out for me, and then mm -hmm. obviously doesn't. And then, <laughs> yep. Uh, but yeah, there's the the, the shattered uh, gate of time. That's quite cool. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it, it looks so dope. Um, yeah. Uh, too, uh, yeah, too bad it was destroyed, but it makes sense, and it's cool how there's still one more in existence. Technically, it's weird, though, because, like, you wouldn't think this would still be around. Like, it should have already looked like this by the time we arrived in this present time. This is, like, the one thing that... I guess it defies time, though, when you really think about it, right? Yeah, the gate of time, I suppose, is something else, right? Mm -hmm. It's kind of a link between periods. Does this look reminiscent to the Temple of Time? Any Temple of Time? Not really, right? Like, this is so unique and different. Uh, it's interesting yeah. how there's even the birds that we see in Skyrim. Yeah, Loftwing statues, yeah. yeah. Um, I don't think it resembles anything, because I think that the lore as it goes in Hyrule Historia is that Roru builds the actual Temple of Time, like the Ocarina of Time Temple of Time. Uh, he builds that over the sealed temple, and he just takes the name from this ancient temple of time. Uh, and I don't really think we know what happens to this place. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, I don't know. It could, be, it could be anything. Like, the walls here, obviously, we get walls like that appearing in, in Breath of the Wild. We get some uh, Skyward Sword era ruins. So, you know, perhaps uh -huh. it survived all that time. Uh, we don't know, really. Yep. But there you go, the, at least the passage opened up for him, finally. He just needed to gear him to bust through. I guess the Goron couldn't do it. Uh, he's he, he's a researcher, right. you know, he, he's more of a theorist. He, he doesn't get his hands dirty, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But okay, uh, I guess this is a, a good spot to yep. end things off. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, you know, we at least completed the mining facility, which, again, had the coolest ending to any temple you know witnessing that scene at the very end it really like rounds up this whole experience uh, i love it yeah uh yeah cheers guys and uh see you in the next episode yep. peace <laughs>